the cod liver oil defense. <laughs> me, me, <laughs> They're saying it's good for you to pay the Royal Bank's taxes, yeah. to pay Canfor's taxes. Yeah, yeah. And this is the ship. This is what the HST represents. It's why they lied about it in the election campaign. Because they knew who benefited and who didn't. Mm -hmm. And we have to, as a party, make the case, not just that the HST is bad or that they lied about it, but that it is a regressive tax which hurts working people and hurts small business, including just about every single one of those businesses up and down the street here. There you are. There you are. Uh, so again, again, it's not about one side raising taxes and the other side cutting taxes. It's about who benefits. And what I want to say to you today in terms of how we win the election and how we address people is that first of all we have to address the very issues of the economy. The Liberals have the worst record on economic growth of any provincial government since the Great Depression. But people think they have a great record. I know, I know, because they tell you they have a great record. Right. And we as an NDP have sometimes failed to make the office a case. Right on. Sometimes we fail to address the economic issue. But what are the facts? The facts are 2% average economic growth since 2001, right? 3% economic growth under the NDP. 3% average economic growth under the Bennett van der Sam Socrest, 3% average economic growth under the Barrett NDP, and, the, and uh, even more under WAC Bennett through the past. You have to go back to Duff Patella, there's a bridge named after him, <laughs> in the <laughs> Great Depression one. to find a government that has performed worse than this Liberal government, that was also a Liberal government, on economic growth. So they say that economic growth is the measurement of economic success, and they have utterly failed. Economic growth over the decade was 50% higher under the NDP. Okay? That's the first point to make. The second point to make is that inequality has grown. I'm going to talk about that later. So not only have they underperformed on the economy, but they have in fact led to a more unequal society.